Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good, good are thanks. And you? Good. Excellent. Good. Excellent. Uh, doing good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, are you ready? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yeah, I'm oh. ready. Okay. So I'm ready also here. Uh, tomorrow, guys, uh, uh, please do not miss class because we are going to review a little bit uh, for the topic for next week, okay? So, okay. Uh, so um, in order to help you to learn with the, uh, to, with the topics for the platform that we must, we must finish on, on Monday, okay? So, okay. 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 Thank you. Okay, let me present over here. Ay, Dios mío. Well, let me present over here. We are uh, 14 people is coming right now. So, um, okay. So, what is the topic that we were talking about? Unit uh, 14. Uh -huh, unit 14. So, we were talking about what? So, that's what it means. So, that's what it means. So, we are talking about? November communication gesture. And okay. Meaning. And meaning. So, today... So, proverbs, uh, do you know any proverbs in English? Uh, mm, I don't know. Um, if you don't ask, you don't get. <laughs> Is that proverb? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you don't ask, you don't get for it. It could be. It could be. Uh, what, what, uh, does anybody else know proverbs in English? Huh? Uh huh. Uh, mister, it's the, for example, embarrassed. No. Uh huh. But embarrassing. A, embarrassing. No, but uh, for example, in Spanish, do we have proverbios? Uh, what about uh, al que madruga Dios le ayuda? That's a, a proverb in English in, in Spanish. In Spanish. Do we have another? Do we have some others? Uh, the in English, I I don't I don't know, but in Spanish, yes. Uh -huh, and then what would be in Spanish? Uh, for example, el que aprende a andar con lobo, how we are aprende. How we are aprende, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, the bull by the horn. Ah. Okay, so okay, the bull by the heart. Let's see by if we heart. can if we can uh, remember that. Um, I was saying that uh, no faltará clases. Estamos en las últimas y mañana vamos a, re, a, a hacer un pequeño trabajo de lo que viene la próxima semana for you to Excellent. work. Uh, for you to work on the platform. Okay. 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 Thank you. That was that was who. Uh, ah, Jennifer. Okay. So, uh, for example, in English, in English, uh, we have, uh, in English, we have practice guessing the meaning of some common proverbs in English. So, uh -huh. for example, uh, I have a penny safe is a penny earned. And yeah, what right. does uh, this mean? It's better to oh, save money. <laughs> it's better to save money. Someone else? Someone else? Someone else? Another idea? 
about the uh, first one about the first one yes yeah, i think it means um centavo guardado un centavo ganado okay but what would you say that in english means um, that <laughs> i don't know because for me it's uh, re really clear yeah yes. okay just try to say it in english a centavo ganado centavo guardado or what will be uh-huh we have to be a little stingy. A little stingy. <laughs> okay. To save money, we have to, to be a little stingy. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, yeah, what you say means is more or less like uh, guessing in, in English. So, for example, what will be then in English, Don Juan Jose? What will be the trying to guess the meaning of it? Uh huh. In the first one, Don Juan Jose, just read the 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 meaning. What it does means. Juan Antonio, I'm sorry, Juan Antonio, I'm sorry, Don Juan Antonio. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, the money you don't spend is also money you have saved. Ah, money you spend is the money that you have saved. And more like you say me is in, in Spanish. Yeah, okay. If, if you don't spend money, so you might be uh, have a lot of money later on. Okay. No, no spend more than we earn. Uh-huh, exactly. And what about the next one? A stitching time saves nine. What oh. will this means? I think is that when I do to learn, mm -hmm. uh, never do less the aprendido. I don't know what is the meaning. Okay, someone else. Good, excellent, Brenda. Excellent. What else it will be? What else it will be? Another idea? Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, Claudia Maria, read the definition. What is that definition? It's better to deal with the problem as soon as possible. It's better to deal with a, pro a problem as soon as possible before it gets worse, okay? Before it gets worse. So um, that's, that's a stitching time saves nine. And what is the next one, uh, Wendy Lisette? Don't? Don't bury your bridges behind you. You. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, Don Vicente, and what will be? Uh, I guess it is because uh, maybe sometime we have to return. And if the bridges burn, <laughs> we can't. I don't yeah. know. Okay. So bridges is to burn to give fire to a bridge, to a puente. So that's that's uh -huh. the, the idea. So don't be, okay. So good on Vicente. Uh, so another maybe idea. Maybe sometimes we have to come back. Okay. Maybe sometimes we have to come back. Another idea. Another idea. Será algo así como es que es con the don't don't waste uh, any opportunity. Okay, don't waste any opportunity. Good. Remember that we are not evaluating if your ideas are okay or no. We're just discussing. Okay, don't waste an opportunity. Okay, let's see what it means, Andrea. Could you help me reading the meaning? Uh, don't do anything. You might feel sorry. About later. About later. So that's a don't burn your bridges be, behind you. 
Okay, so that means more or less. But thank you very much for the ones participating. Great participation. I like it because you're we're discussing. Okay, uh, Jennifer Arevalo, what will be the next one? Every. Every. Jennifer Arevalo, just we. Cecilia Antonio. What is the next one? Just read the 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 old every same. every cloud has a silver lining. Lining, yes, good. What it will be? Any idea? Every cloud on the sky has a silver lining, a very straight light. Uh, for example, when I, you feel bad. Mm -hmm. Um. My mommy say me, don't worry, is to learn for you life. Okay, good participation. Excellent. Someone else? Another, every, another? Every night has a day. Every night has a day. Okay, another idea. Another idea. Okay, let's see, Sarah Trejos, what is it? But the, your participation is great, eh? It's fantastic. I love it. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. I think a lot of unpleasant situations, so uh -huh. try to be optimistic. Okay. I have uh -huh. a, a unpleasant situation, but after the unpleasant situation... Alan, Alan, Alan like, Gordo! Something nice. Uh, uh, something nice will come. Help me with the microphones, please. Help, help me with the microphone. Okay. And the next one. Torres. That's all right. And the next one. What is the next one? Elizabeth Medrano. What is the next one? One person's. Okay. Um. One person's meat in another one's poison. And one person's meat is another poison. What will be this one? Mm -hmm. um, any, I any... Think, and I think that if there are something for good to you, it's not for me. Something okay. like that. Okay, yeah. Okay, so great, fantastic. Another idea? Uh huh. Every person has a black angel. <laughs> Every person <laughs> has a black angel. Okay, it says one person, one person normally said. Read the definition. Normally said. Aha, uh -huh. it says what one person, what one person loves. Uh -huh. Another person may hate. May hate it. <laughs> yes, another person may hate it. Let me see the uh, the other one. Yeah, like, that's true. I like I like the 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 last one. Let me just do something over here. Uh, oh. Please, teacher, put it again because I I need to take a screen. Ah, okay, okay, and just oh, uh, I just Sorry. put in uh, something over here. Okay. Okay, there it goes. It says, "Don't count your chickens before they hatch, before what? they break the egg." Before they rompen el cascarón. Uh huh. What it will be? Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Because maybe it it can bird. <laughs> I guess I'm not projecting, right? No. Okay. So now I am. Uh huh.
Don't cut your chicken before they hatch. They hatch. They hatch. They hatch. Uh huh. The birds hatch when they when they when they uh uh born. They hatch. They do this uh -huh. one and they 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 egg open and the bird comes out. So it's like because maybe maybe we are not sure to have it yet. Okay. It's something like that when I uh, you see uh, other things um you you says in your mind oh tomorrow pay me oh, it's okay. okay i i to buy now but mm, tomorrow pay me for me okay maybe let's see uh, sarai yes sarai and i think it means like don't don't suppose that things when it happen as you wish Ah, okay. Sarai, could you read the definition that they give? It's not, I didn't give it. Uh, I, I found it. So they give. Okay. Uh -huh. Could you read it? Be careful not to act, act as. If, as, if, if, if. Uh, as act, if. If something has already happened. When it really hasn't happened yet. Okay, don't, uh, don't act if uh, something already happened, but uh, without happening. Yes, I don't know, Juan Antonio? Don Juan Antonio? Yes. It's a thing when the people say, um, uh, don't claim victory before your uh, before your all the time. Uh huh. More or less, yes. Uh, remember yes. that this is more or less. This is uh, this is something like uh, it refers to. For example, the next ones that I have. This is not as uh, great participation, everyone. Great, I love it. I as as I said, I love that you participate. So, uh, like, for example, in Spanish, what is in Spanish? It says, candil de la calle, oscuridad de tu casa. More or less in English, uh, literally, uh, lamp on the street, uh, darkness in your house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, more or less in English. So, what did this mean in Spanish? This is not a, a, a Spanish class, but uh, what is the idea? Candil de la calle, oscuridad de tu casa. We are not, uh, uh, we have a different appearance in house and also in the out of house. Okay. Uh huh. Someone else was talking. Me, when I be in my house, I am not bad people, but when I stay in the strip, I uh, am a good people. Ah, okay. So you're in <laughs> different people. Yeah. So more or less, we're not going to discuss too much this one because it's it's a uh, it's English class. So it says the the definition that I found: a persona que saca habilidades, virtudes, o actitudes que no nacen dentro de su hogar. Uh, but we say it. Uh, sometimes we say this uh, kind of old sayings or proverbs in Spanish without having a uh, really good idea what it means. This is supposed to be academic. For example, the other. What is the other? El que oye consejo llega viejo. Uh -huh. More or less in English. What will be in English? How would you translate it? The ones who listens, who listen Advance. to advices gets maybe it could be gets all men all there. Okay, gets. be all men. So what it means, and this is very popular in El Salvador. Eh? Que llega, yeah, uh, right. Uh huh. Uh huh. What it means. If we never hear uh, some suggest or advice, uh, maybe we are um, we are not sure in our in our life. 
Ok, ok, this is, uh, this is consejo más que gozan de la larga vida, de una buena vida. So these are the most popular uh, old sayings in El Salvador, right? So it's the saying in English. Why did I put this one? Because the, the manual says, the, the material says, uh, now do you have old sayings or proverbs in, in your country? Yes, we do. We have a, we have a lot. Por ejemplo, al que, de, al que madruga Dios le ayuda. And there you say And then these are the most common in the country, okay? The tal palo, tal astilla. So, dime con quien, uh, ¿cómo es? Dime con quien andas. ¿Quién eres? Okay, that one, that one is the idea. So, these are, these are the most popular proverbs in English. But there is one in English that I like it very much and, um, and, and uh, I use it very frequently. You're not on recess, eh? <laughs> You're not on recess. I'm sorry, I'm not in school because of the traffic. I didn't go home because I thought I, I was not going to make it. So, for example, listen to this one. An apple a day, it keeps the doctor away. What it means? What? What it does mean? Yes, Wendy? You want to say something? An apple a day, it keeps the doctor away. Uh-huh. You should eat an apple every day uh -huh. because it's healthy. I don't know. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, thank you, Wendy. Good, good participation. Uh huh. Uh, Eugenio, what what give you the idea? An apple a day it keeps the doctor away. It's a uh, save save the life. Okay, good. Uh, Maria Jose, any ideas? Oh, she's working. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Okay. Is it? Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I was asking you what it means. Uh, Napoli day keeps the doctor away. Um, Maybe. No. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Excellent. Uh -huh. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe what, Don Vicente? Maybe is uh, we have to eat healthy and get away the doctors because yes. we are not proper any that's, yes that's when the and Glenda said about uh if okay. we eat one apple a day no doctors because we'll no have doctors. a yeah. we'll have a healthy life that is very popular in english okay okay um it's the, okay i'm sorry that i'm okay so the conversation uh, what do you see on the picture over there Uh -huh. What do you see on the uh, on the picture? A car. Okay. A red car. A red car. How many cars are there? Um, two cars. Two, two car. cars. Two and car. the and the two cars are red. So do they look different or the same car? It's the same, the same car, but it's the street the is okay. different. Ah, okay. Uh -oh. uh, What do you see, Andre Esther? What do you notice, Andre Esther, on the yellow line, on the on the car in front? Double the, yellow. Uh, double yellow line. So there is a double yellow line. And does anybody know what this means? Don't cross. Don't cross. Don't I'm change not... the way. Okay, don't change the way. <laughs> Uh, another word in English, uh, anybody? Don't turn on the lane. Okay, don't turn on the lane. Good. Another word in English? It said don't stay cross. Stay in your line. Uh, stay in your line. Okay, so don't pass, right? If you see a, co a continuously line, it means don't pass. Okay. Um, and the second car. What is what do you notice on the line? Uh, it means uh, that there are 
the they are able to to change uh -huh. the line. Ah, okay. Uh, someone else? What do you notice on the yellow line? The line is discontinuous. Okay, the line is discontinuous. Good. And in which side? The side of the car or the other side? The side of the, the car. The side of the car. Uh-huh. And uh, someone else, another participant. What do you think this means? Uh, it it means that he can able or uh, he is able to to change. Okay, he is able to change or to pass. Uh, let's see. Uh, but only in the way the car is going. Okay, Sara y Trejos, could you learn, uh, read the learning objective? Sara y? Could you read the learning adjective, please? Maybe she can. Me, okay. teacher. Uh, okay, Wendy. Practice a conversation about sign, the concept of permission, obligation, and prohibition. Pro and and uh, how do you say, teacher? Pro and, and prohibition. Prohibition. And and prohibition in context. In context. Okay. So let's see what is the conversation about. Let's listen to it. Page 89, exercise 9. Conversation. Part A. Listen and practice. You know, these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. Hmm. What do these lines on the road mean? They must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. It's going too slow. Now, I wonder what that sign up ahead means. It may mean you've got to take a left in this lane. Or maybe it means you can turn left if you want to. I think I'll just go straight. One more time. Page 89, Exercise 9, Conversation, Part A, Listen and Practice. You know, these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. Hmm, what do these lines on the road mean? They must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. It's going too slow. Now, I wonder what that sign up ahead means. It may mean you've got to take a left in this lane. Or maybe it means you can turn left if you want to. I think I'll just go straight. Okay, a volunteer, uh, Norma. Your volunteer normally said, what? is the topic of the conversation in your own words between Vicky and John. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And a volunteer, what is the topic of the conversation in your own words between Jackie, Vicky and John? Is uh, cross the lane yellow or okay. not? Okay, so they are talking about if they cross the yellow line or not. Mm -hmm. Yes, Don Vicente? They are talking about the nice, uh, that is the road, but the signs are so confused. Okay, thank you, Don Vicente, thank you. Yes, Claudia, something else that you would like to add? What Vicente already said. Uh, but repeat it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Maybe you will say something different. Uh -huh. <laughs> they were talking about the road lines that were confusing. Ah, they were confusing. And at the end of the conversation, Claudia, what the men decide to do? 
what does he decide to do? Turn. Ah, uh, he decided to, uh, to turn left or continue straight ahead or continue straight. Mm -hmm. Look at the conversation. I think she, he decided to go straight. Ah, uh, he decided to go straight. Yes, they're deciding uh, to go straight, okay? So uh, that's the conversation, the topic of the conversation. And let's listen, let's see on the second conversation between the man and the police officer. And it says, listen to the rest of the conversation. Which picture shows the highway they were driving on? The one on the on the left or the one on the right, okay. So, and which sign is the police officer talking? Let's listen and and decide if it is uh, the one on the left or the one on the right. Uh, is the police officer talking? Page eighty nine, exercise nine, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Which picture shows the highway they were driving on? Which sign is the police officer talking about? Um, have you noticed that police car behind us? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I'd better pull over. May I see your driver's license, please? Sure, of course. Did I do something wrong, officer? Well, for one thing, you went over a double yellow line back there to pass a car. Oh. A double yellow line means no passing. You can only pass when there's a broken yellow line on your side. Oh. And another thing, you were in the left turn only lane, but you didn't turn. You went straight through the intersection instead. Oh, I guess I did, officer. But yes, you did. Don't you know that if there's a sign with an arrow pointing to the left, you have to turn left when you're in that lane? Oh, yeah, you're right. Of course I'm right. My goodness, how did you ever pass your driving test and get a license? Gosh, I'm sorry, officer. <laughs> that was me dry, uh, taking the driving test in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> I I got on the wrong line, and the police officer that was taking, I uh, wasn't uh, making the test. They said, "Have you noticed that you're on the wrong way?" And I said, "No, yes, you're on the wrong way." <laughs> I oh. didn't pass the time, but uh, the second time I passed it. Okay, so let's listen one more time and decide, and oh, check your answer. Okay. Okay. Page eighty nine, exercise nine, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Which picture shows the highway they were driving on? Which sign is the police officer talking about? Um, have you noticed that police car behind us? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I'd better pull over. May I see your driver's license, please? Sure, of course. Did I do something wrong, officer? Well, for one thing, you went over a double yellow line back there to pass a car. Oh. A double yellow line means no passing. You can only pass when there's a broken yellow line on your side. Oh. And another thing, you were in the left turn only lane, but you didn't turn. You went straight through the intersection instead. Oh, I guess I did, officer. But yes, you did. Don't you know that if there's a sign with an arrow pointing to the left, you have to turn left when you're in that lane? Oh, yeah, you're right. Of course I'm right. My goodness, how did you ever pass your driving test and get a license? Gosh, I'm sorry, officer. Okay, which sign shows the one that they were highway they were driving? The one on the right, on the left, or the one on the right? One on the right. Yeah, the one on the left. 
And which science the police officer talking about? Which science the police officer talking? If they were driving on the left, on the side on the left, so the police officer is talking about? Stay on the left. Mm, the side on the left or the side, or the side on the line? On the, on the right. The right. The sign, the police officer is talking on the sign on the uh, right. Remember that in the in the United States or any country, Canada, if you're driving on this, so you have to turn like this. You cannot go straight. If you're driving on this, on this highway, and you take this one, you cannot continue you can turn, you had to turn on the left. You cannot continue straight. And that's what the police officer is uh, putting the ticket. That is called a ticket, okay? So, <clears throat> so let's see how do I express obligation? Okay. When I express obligation, I use, uh, Eugenio, read the learning and the learning objective. Practice. A learning objective. Practice using modal and other verbs to express permission, obligations, and prohibition. Okay. Uh, so on the first part, look over there. It says, you can turn left or you're allowed to pass here. So I use can or, oops, uh, what's happened? Let me see something happened over here. Okay. You can, uh, you can, uh, I use can or you're allowed to, to express what? To express permission. permission. You can watch TV. You can drink water now. Okay. You're allowed to drink water now. So I am expressing when I say that you, you can drink water or you, you are allowed to drink water. I am expressing permission. You had to turn left here. You got to pass here. So we are, I am expressing, when I use have to and got to, I am expressing? Obligations. Obligation. For example, I can say, you had to finish the platform on Monday. Ah, but it's only, uh, it's only your obligation or my obligation too? My obligation. It's both obligation. You had to finish the platform. I have to help you finish the Please. platform. Okay. Why not? No, I'm not going to look. Uh, let's go to the platform. Let's do the exercise. No, 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 no. I'm going to teach you the topics that will help you to finish with the platform. So you had to finish the platform uh, on Monday, by Monday. You have to attend every single class. You had to be here every single class. You got to be here. Remember that this is the infinitive in English too. Every time that I used to, I had to use a verb in the simple form. Had uh, to turn, to pass, to study, to complete, uh, to get, to pass, etc. So an expression obligation. How do I express prohibition? You can turn left here. You aren't allowed to pass here. So when I use can't and aren't allowed, I am, and I am expressing I am prohibition. Ex prohibition and expressing prohibition. Yes. So uh, for example, you aren't allowed to miss 
to many classes. You are, uh, you can't miss many classes or too many classes, okay? So an expressing, uh, in that case, an expressing, um, an expressing, uh, so a way to express permission using can is using be plus allowed to, okay? He is allowed to, you are allowed to, I am allowed to, they are allowed to, etc. And obligation have to and got to. For example, permission. How do I express permission? How do I express permission? Uh, Don Juan Antonio, read that one, permission. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> permission. I like you all the, to stay until the end of the class. Mm -hmm. However, if you have something special to do and have to leave before class is over, please ask for permission to leave early. And what words do I use to ask for permission? You can. You uh, can and allow. Allow to. You can and uh, you are allowed yeah. to. And uh, Don Luis Alfredo, the second one. Obligation. Obligation. Every student has an obligation to do his or her homework. Okay. You had to, uh, you have the obligation to complete the platform, or you have to complete the platform. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Don. Homework is homework. Yeah, his or her homework. Good. So, what words do I use to express obligation? Have to. Have to. Got to. And got to. Remember that that uh, contraction of of uh, you is the past participle. In a complete form, you say, you have got to pass the exam, okay? And uh, let's see who have important. Uh, uh, Prohibition. Uh -huh. Jennifer Arevalo. Prohibition. Read over there, please. Hi, teacher. I'm sorry. Hi. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. No, 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 no. Don't be sorry. Thank you. Get well. Um. Uh, Cecilia Antonio. Prohibition. As you know, there's a prohibition against smoking in class. Uh -huh. uh, in fact, uh, there is a prohibition uh, against smoking in public. You can not allow us to smoke in public. So uh, when, when I express prohibition, what words do I use? What words do I can, use? Can, can not. And can aren't. 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 So for example, uh, I have a son whose name is Jose Miguel. So I will say, Jose Miguel, you are not allowed to watch TV. You had to do your hunger first. Okay. So I can use both or the three, both. Uh, uh, I can use prohibition and obligation together. Jose Miguel, you're not allowed to watch TV. You had to do your homework first, okay? And after you do your homework, you can watch TV. So you see, I'm using the three. You're not allowed to watch TV. You had to do your homework first. And after the homework, you can watch TV or you are allowed okay. to watch TV. So I can use, uh, when I'm speaking, I can use the three at the same time as long as they uh, do much. Okay, 
Here I have some, I think this is on the, I know I, this is uh, it's not because I haven't sent it to you. Okay, let me just, uh, let's see, okay. Here. Oh, oh, oops, I know. No, 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 no. We already did that one. Sorry. Okay, here no we problem. are. Okay, here we are. Now, the next one is, this is a way that you can, uh, can uh, let people give permission to people. Remember that I can say, I can, you can, he can, we can, they can. Okay, so I can use can with all the subjects plus the permission that I'm giving. So, for example, you can take a 15 minute break and during each class. At, uh, but if we are on, we are uh, not here because we are online, but uh, the students can take a 15 minute break during each class, okay? Or they can. Uh, we can the homework in the campus coffee in shop. the campus coffee shop okay so Not in the uh, class. And, and i'm giving i'm giving you permission you can do the platform uh on the weekend okay in order to be sure okay. that on monday is ready <laughs> okay. okay so and i use allow with the i use allow with the with the verb to be i mean uh, i use uh, B plus allow to plus the verb. For example, I said on the first one, I said, I, I'm allowed to. I'm, uh, okay, I'm allowed to. On the second you're one, I said, to. you're, you're allowed, to. allowed to. On the third, we say, we are, we are allowed we to. Are allowed to. And the next one they we are. say, they are allowed to. If it is negative, we'll say they are. They are not. Not I allowed not, to. You are not. Allowed to. Yeah. Can I use he's allowed to or she's not allowed to? Can I use that? Yes or no? Mm. Yes, because if you say uh, yeah. we can use the... Uh, yeah. Uh, let's say uh, let's let's say Andrea. Okay, she's allowed to do the platform before, before Monday. Okay, she's allowed to work on platform before Monday. Okay, so yes, we can use that with he, she, etc. And I say you're you're allowed to you're allowed to use a tape record. A uh, tape recorder Record. in class. Uh, you you are allowed to use a computer in class. <laughs> okay, that that would be better. I'll be I'll be careful to update the information. So and and uh, we are allowed to miss three classes each semester. Uh, three miss <laughs> not, not in here, not three on here. Class. Okay. <laughs> So, and that case will be, you're not allowed to miss three classes, okay? So that's the way uh, giving permission on giving prohibition. So um, that's the way that we do it. Uh, that's the way that we do it. Let me uh, take this. Esta línea me salió bien derecho. Okay, uh, we're about to finish. Just let me um, take the lines over there. Okay. Okay. Here we have some the uh, uh, some words Sign. signs. Okay, some signs Sign. that uh, and we have some meanings. For example, not playing ball. The next one is literal B. Everybody, open mic and read. We are hard. Hot. Wear yeah. hard hearts. Wear hard hearts. And literal C. Swimming. Swimming, swimming allowed. Swimming allowed. Uh -huh. Swimming allowed. 
Literal. D drinking, drinking water. water. Drinking, drinking water. water. Literal. E do not, not touch. touch. Do not touch. Uh, do not touch. touch. Okay. Literal. F. Fast and sit belts. Fast and sit belts. Okay. And uh, literal G. No, no bicycles. Bicycle. No bicycles. And the last one, what letter is it? Recyclable. Recyclable. H, uh, recyclable. Recyclable. So, what, would be no, what would be number one? No touch. No, no touch. No, no touch. Uh, it's, uh, it's do not touch or don't do touch. touch. Okay. But usually, usually uh, when we write sites like that one, we say do not touch. We do not use usually. We do not use don't touch. Okay. So because it's written English, that's why we use complete. Um, complete uh Pero phrase yeah. mm -hmm. okay no uh, yeah no contractions because uh, we is is in a written way not in a productive way by the way that's something really important when you write in formal writing we do not use contractions we use full forms okay but when we speak and then we use contractions uh-huh but in a written way uh usually no uh, no no usually because it, it has to be formal no contractions. it's a mandatory yeah uh, well it's, it's yeah it, because it's it's it's, it's we the real we had to sound more formal even though I said that uh, when we speak, which you said, we you uh, to in order to sound more natural, we should uh, use contractions. But in a written way, no. Okay, I'll give you one minute, two minutes, maybe one and a half to match the the phrases with the with the with the with the pictures. Help me with the uh, microphones. Okay, match the set number one and write the idea. Okay, number two, one volunteer. Zero C, 
Okay. Swimming allowed. Thank you, Andrea. Very good. Another volunteer? Me. Okay, we're Wendy. Her Let her be with her heart. Okay, wear her heart. Thank you, Wendy. Don Juan Antonio, number four. Uh, letter H, uh, recycle. Re recycle. Recycle. Uh, recycle. Recycle. Recycle, uh -huh. right. Uh, right. Don Vicente, number five. Yes, number five, letter F. What is it? Fast and seat belt. Fast and seat belt. Thank you. Claudia Maria Gomez, number six. No bicycles. No bicycles. I'm sorry I repeated this one. Uh, Luis Alfredo Aguilar, yes. The seven letter B drink water. Drink water. Uh drink water. I'm sorry. You're correct, uh, Don Luis Aguil uh, Don Luis Alfredo. It's just me. I made a mistake over there, but it's drink water. Thank you. Drink water. Thank uh huh. You. Drink water. Yes. Okay. Y you're you're correct. Este está en lo cierto, no yo. Okay, good. And and Sarai Trejos, what about number the last one? Letter E, no playing ball. No playing ball. No playing ball. Okay, guys. So uh, this is uh, tomorrow. Uh, this is the reading, and we were going to do some exercises there. But como siempre, so tomorrow do not miss classes. We're going to work a little bit from the topic from next week in order for you to help you in order. Uh, uh, for me to help you to work on the platform and do the tasks, okay? And uh, okay. Just, just let me take the attendance. The attendance. And in Spanish, recuerden que cuenta el tiempo y los minutos de esta día para probar más eight. Okay, so that will be... Uh, today is the 16th. Eh, Ana Sonia Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. Andrea Estera Costa Hernández. Here teacher. Brenda Claribel Mejia Segovia. Present. Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar. Present, Mr. Claudia Maria Gómez Canizal Canizales. Present teacher. Eh, Edgar Mauricio Barrera Ortega. Edgar Mauricio. Eugenio Ernesto Martínez Fuentes. Present, mister. Eh, Giovanni Josué González Olmedo. Giovanni. Jennifer Mauset Arevalo Flores. Present, teacher. Juan Antonio Brande Paz. Present teacher. Catherine Mariel Vázquez Flores. Present. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. L Lorena Araceli Hernández de García. Lorena de Los Ángeles Mengíbar de Najarro. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Present teacher. María José Najarro Mengíbar. Present teacher. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Norma Lisbeth Crespín. Norma Lisbeth Crespín Orellana. Oscar Alexander. Norma, I guess it's talking. Uh, Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. Saray, Saray, Saray Noemí Trejo Suyoa. Present teacher. Eh, Vicente Israel Sánchez Herazo. Present teacher. Wendy Lisette Carías de Cedillos. Present teacher. Okay, guys, so please tomorrow, don't forget, don't miss classes. We're going to review for the topic for next week and all of the to help you doing 
the platform. Have a great night. Bye bye. See you. Thank you very much. Have a nice night, everybody. Thank you for Thank being you, here.